What the heck is going on with Mitt Romney? He just lost three more primaries, putting his frontrunner status into question yet again. I will tell you, for professional communicators like me, it's obvious. He just doesn't connect. And connecting is all about communicating. Now, I know that sounds vague and perhaps a little woo-woo to some of you, but in every presidential election in modern times, the candidate who communicates best and connects best wins. Let me make this perfectly clear. This has nothing to do with policy or even who might do a better job. It's about intangible but critical qualities like delivery. These are the verbal and nonverbal skills that go into delivering an impassioned, inspiring speech. And we know from watching politicians ranging from Winston Churchill to Barack Obama that skilled orators change hearts and minds. Then there's the public narrative. This is the story that surrounds the candidate, including personal and professional background that goes all the way back to childhood and gives us information as to whether a candidate can feel for the average voter. Interpersonal skills is another one. How does the candidate do on the campaign trail? Can he, can he do a Bill Clinton, you know, make a person feel as if he or she is the only person in a crowded room? This skill has the added benefit of being able to soften any inherent problems the public narrative might have. The best recent example of this was um, that, like, is, was George W. Bush. There are also slogans and messaging, as well as message discipline, which I'll talk about another time. Now, before all you Romney supporters get mad at me, please know that I believe he can fix all of these things. These are concrete skills and can be learned. And it's only February, so it's light years from election day. In presidential election years, that is. If I were Mitt Romney, here's what I'd do. With my delivery, I would throw away most of what I've learned in corporate speech and media training. And it's all about how he's been trained. Everything from his posture to the sound of his voice, which is beautiful, by the way, to his amused smiling, to his trying to look relaxed by putting his hand in his pocket. It all smacks of following the rules of delivery technique. These rules are actually made to be broken or at least adjusted and adapted to allow for personality and humanity to shine through. His public narrative, well, you know, there's nothing he can do about it, nor should he. He's got a privileged background, but there are ways to manage the perception that he isn't like you and me, that he isn't one of us. Mitt Romney actually had one moment during an earlier debate where he said, I didn't grow up poor, and if somebody is looking for someone who's grown up with that background, I'm not the person. And he said it with all the sincerity he could muster, and it was powerful. It was finally something he didn't seem to be running away from. He was believable, and and he made a connection as a result. This is a simple equation that he should follow. He's got to stop running away from every bit of his past policymaking, too. People are going to disagree, no question. He might even lose a few votes, but most will respect him more. Then there's the interpersonal skills, and lucky for Romney, he's got some competition from President Obama on this. Both men seem to be introverts. They don't like the small talk. They aren't comfortable in the everyday encounters that are a big part of campaigning. Romney has difficulty because, again, he hews too closely to the rules. It's difficult to imagine him I don't know, putting his arm around someone who's dealing with hard times. I'm sure he has it in him. He just needs to show it more. You know, it's risky, too, because it means veering from scripted and memorized talking points. But come on, this whole thing is one big risk. Anyway, all the above requires storytelling skills. Storytelling is the lifeblood of political communication and and all communication. Romney needs to mine his life for some new stories and learn how to tell them. Right now, he's giving us the view from 30,000 feet when he needs to be down to earth. He, or someday, God willing, she, who communicates best, wins. That is all there is to it.